William Shakespeare is known as a playwright and sometimes referred to as the Bard of Avon. William Shakespeare is a famous writer who lived in England about 400 years ago. During his life, he wrote hundreds of plays, sonnets, and poems that people still enjoy today. The way people speak to each other has changed a bit since Shakespeare's time. This is why some of the words in this book, words from his sonnets and plays, may sound funny to you. But listen carefully, and you can enjoy the music of his words and the pictures they create in your mind. Shakespeare's Seasons by Miriam Weiner, illustrated by Shannon Witt. Can you see the seasons depicted in these trees? What season do you think of if the trees have green leaves? How about orange or red leaves? How about no leaves at all? How about when you see green or um, the white and pink may not be leaves. What would they be instead of leaves? And what season would that be? Shakespeare's Seasons by Miriam Weiner. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May, and summer's lease hath all too short a date. Sonnet 18, lines 1 through 4. Hot lavender, mints, savory, marjoram, the marigold that goes to bed with the sun and with him rises weeping, these are flowers of middle summer. From the Winter's Tale, Act 4, Scene 4, Lines 104 through 107. Earth's increase, poison plenty, Barns and garners never empty, Vines with clustering bunches growing, Plants with goodly burden bowing. Spring come to you at the farthest, In the very end of the harvest. Scarcity and want shall shun you, Garris blessing so is on you. From the Tempest, Act 4, Scene 1, Lines 110 to 107. Beautiful colors of harvest. For summer and his pleasures wait on thee, and thou away the very birds are mute, or if they sing, tis with so dull a cheer, that leaves look pale, dreading the winter's near. Sonnet 97, lines 11 through 14. Blow winds and crack your cheeks, Rage, blow, from King Lear, Act 3, Scene 2, Line 1. At Christmas I no more desire rose than wish a snow in May's new-fangled shows, but like of each thing that in season grows. From Love's Labor's Lost, Act 1, Scene 1, Lines 105 to 107. For never resting time leads summer on to hideous winter and confounds him there. Sap checked with frost and lusty leaves quite gone, beauty are snowed, and barrenness everywhere. Sonnet 5, lines 5 through 8. But flowers distilled, though they w with winter meet, lease but their show. Their substance still lives sweet. Sonnet 
5, lines 13 through 14. The purest spring is not so free from mud. From Henry the Sixth, Part Two, Act One, Scene One, Line One Hundred Seven. The uncertain glory of an April day which now shows all the beauty of the sun, and by and by a cloud takes all away. From the Two Gentlemen of Verona, Act 1, Scene 3, Lines 85 through 87. This carol they began that hour with a hey and a ho and a hey nonny no, how that a life was but a flower, in springtime, the only pretty ring time, when birds do sing, hey ding a ding ding, sweet lovers love the spring, from As You Like It, Act 5, Scene 3, verse lines 27 through 32. Blow like sweet roses in this summer air, from Love's Labor's Lost, Act 5, Scene 2, Line 293. Blow like sweet roses in this summer air. Thus sometimes hath the brightest day a cloud, and after summer evermore succeeds barren winter, and with, wrathful, with his wrathful nipping cold, so cares and joys abound as seasons fleet. From Henry the Sixth, Part Two, Act Two, Scene Four, Lines One through Four. Thus sometimes hath the brightest day a cloud, and after summer evermore succeeds barren winter with his wrathful nipping cold. So cares and joys abound as seasons fleet. The End Shakespeare's Seasons by Miriam Weiner.